We start off with Donut Plains 3, pretty good track. This is one of Darky's best tracks in the game, so he should do pretty well here, but you know. Yep, that's right. That's right, Kyra, that's right. See some of the high tier gameplay. I don't know which number Govinda is, but. Ooh, Darky Bird's out here, though. He's probably going for the bag, if I'm going to be totally honest. Oh, no. He's going to kill. He's going to run. So. He yeah. is taking a lot of tight corners and, and uh, some good shortcuts here. Darky Eight. looking comfortable with two shrooms in first. Wow, that was a huge turnaround for him. He really came from fifth to first. Really yeah, he fast. caught up. He caught up pretty well. Um, Jay Breezy has been right in the middle of this whole game, and he's doing pretty good already at like staying consistent with that. Because I found when I was playing, uh, I would start off uh, pretty decent, and then I'd really fall back. But these players are doing a great job at like staying in the game. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, w I think Darky's going to save this. Up oh, here comes a blue, but I think I honestly think Darky can dodge it. He has the capability to dodge this blue shell pretty well because with a shroom you can dodge the blue shell. So see if he does it. Is it is it when you like? And yep, he did it. Wow. The more you know, that was a great play. That was really smart. Look at this lead by Darky. The rest of the pack, um, like JBZ. He has triple shrooms right now. He could get second place here if Looks the, like he's good. Oh, sorry. If the um, Wario... Oh, he has a golden as well. He's looking really good now, and he could for sure get second place. Oh, but he has a gold. This is going to be a battle, and it looks like JBZ pulls it off. Wow. Wow, an intense so, finish. So fast-paced. I didn't even, like, know what was going on at first. Yeah. We see, like, Drop Bowser getting fourth, Yoshi getting fifth, and Bowser Jr. getting sixth. I wonder, I wonder if that is Govinda who is in those uh, lower spots. Uh, do we know? Do we know which character Govinda is? I guess not. Uh. I do not know. I, all I know is for my first race, I did not know that the A button was how you went. I thought it was like one of the triggers on the backside. So I started off really terribly on my first race. And if Govinda started off, I started off with one. I started off with one point. So if Govinda started off with one point, then I think I'm in good shape to uh, have him in the lower bracket with me. Which yeah. Would be pretty good. Yeah, I don't know about that, Jim. Like Darky, Darky's pretty good. So uh, you know, I, I don't really know about it. But yeah, let's go, PH. We got some really good track picks, by the way. Including uh, Excite Bike Arena, which is a pretty good one. And we are getting Rural Raceway, which is another good track. And uh, interested to see what happens if Darky can run that race again. Is this list in order at all by po like by points? It's not, right? It's listed by the uh, players arriving in the room at a certain time. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So I'm guessing that Jay Breezy is going to be able to stay pretty consistent, if not getting first. Because we, yeah. we saw that in the last race. Mm -hmm. He has the capabilities for sure to uh, get that. It all depends on um, if a blue's thrown and like Darky messes up. or It really all depends on what happens to him in particular. We see Jay Breezy with a red. He's going to save this red because he knows that Darky has that banana, so... It's good for him for saving that. The red shell is a really interesting item because it can really turn around a first and second place matchup in, in a second. Just like, because it just hunts down. Are there any, are, it hunts down the person in front of you or I guess behind you also. Is there any like counter for that like there is with the blue shell? Um, well you can have a uh, dragged item behind you and that can block your um, item from Basically, it blocks the item coming from getting you. It's just, yeah, it's just a defensive mechanism, basically. Wow, that was really smart by Jay Breezy going into the grass using uh, a mushroom and then hitting that pad. He has a pretty decent lead over third and fourth right now. Probably about like a uh, two-second lead. Well, Darky's up here with, he's just front running the, the race. He's really doing a good job of keeping that. Yeah, he also, he's 
I, I think he's doing a really good job on spacing himself with items like the banana. Like he'll place it behind him so other people like can't get close to him. Yeah. He's using his items really well. And Ooh, that's, that's gonna cost a little bit of time for JBZ uh, going into the grass there. The Wario has caught up a little bit. So, oh, and the Wario has a star now, so he's going to probably be taking that cut and possibly overtaking JBZ, and he does. Oh my goodness, he pulled a bullet in second. Wow. Looks that like that is really unfortunate for JBZ. Wow, Look three bullet bills on the map. Yep. Looks like Darky's gonna have a clean first place again. Really solid racing from him. Wow, yeah, and Jay Breezy, or uh, Jay Beezy, I'm sorry, coming in third. Like I predicted, being really consistent, making some good plays. I really did. I can't stress enough that I didn't realize how like completely strategic this game is. Like there is no like I thought this was kind of like a party game, which it is, but it like there's a lot more strategy than you would think involved in playing well in this game. You got to know the maps, you got to know everything. Yep. For sure. Darky again. He's looking so strong here. Can't wait for the finals. That's going to be very intense, very intense between the uh Myself and Darky. It's going to be pretty intense, that's for sure. As we see, Darky goes his best track. Um, there are some shortcuts on this track that he does to gain some time uh, over the other racers. So he's been he's been like really good though. Like these past couple of races, like like taking shortcuts and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I've noticed that a lot of the players that are coming in top three have been using, like, really utilizing everything they can with, it seems like a lot of people have took the time, or taken the time to memorize all the sharp turns and shortcuts. I noticed even the people, the person that was ahead of me in fifth place was using shortcuts and stuff like that in the map that I had no idea of that really gave him that edge over me and kept, like, keeping him ahead which was really smart to utilize stuff like that. Definitely, definitely. As we see the Mute City pick coming in, and Darky is really good on Mute City as well. He's actually, he's pretty good on all the tracks, to be honest. But whoever picked Mute City, that's a great track. It's going to be one of the easier maps with the bars on the side, so you don't really fall off as much. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and Darky gets sniped. But he has a shirt, wow. so he could easily recover from that. And he regains his first place pretty easily. First, second, and third are all really head and head. In fact, the whole race is really head and head right now. Mm -hmm. Darky taking that NISC and making it, so good on him. But JB's pulling two reds, so that might ruin Darky if he uh, decides to use him. He's got one with him and one in the wallet, as you said. No, I see. I don't understand why he wouldn't use this red because he knows that Darky had a coin. He could have used it as Darky pulled the horn here. So JBZ should definitely use this red here if he wants to possibly catch up to him with the lead. He's possibly waiting for more items to come in as well. Oh, and that's JBZ pulling a mushroom. So uh, he could possibly catch up. Oh, and he, he went for the cut, but he didn't get it. So... Um, and he gets reddit for it. Actually, that was the more safer option because I guess he knew that the uh, other guy had the red, so good on him. Again, second and third are really close together with the rest of the pack being a little bit farther behind. JBZ is really utilizing the drifts on this. You can tell he really knows the map. Yeah, for sure. And as JBZ pulls another mushroom, he could probably take that cut again. And he gets a mushroom. He gets another mushrooms. mushroom, so he's gonna definitely take this cut. And then let's see if he goes for the uh, let's see if he goes for this one. And he does. Yes, he does. So pretty. Uh, <laughs> Darky bomb sniped himself at the line. What a gentleman. <laughs> But, but then again, JBZ with another strong race, solidifying his second place by a point. So, good on him. 
Now, I don't know specifically which racer Govinda is, but I don't know. It looks like he's already ahead of my score, which good on him. Good job. Let's see what they pick here. Ooh, we oh. see a Yoshi Valley. Music Park. I just realized Music Park might be in my top five least favorite maps in this game because of just, like, how frustrating it is. But it's a really creative map. Yeah, for sure. Um, there's some cool shortcuts that you can take, uh, little uh, grass shortcuts. And people utilize that track for, like, front running in terms of uh, Clan Wars, which uh, I do a part of Pirate Hackers, uh, the, the team I'm on. And... Uh, it's a good track for the front positions, but not so much for the uh, lower positions. Yeah. As you see a Wario's gold mine, which uh, is pretty good for Darky as well. He's good on that one. Coming into the fourth race. You see uh, JBZ getting shoveled out to fifth. Let's see, But, oh, he misses the item box, though. Ooh, wow! He got trailed by that red. Nothing you could do. Get on the Wario for trailing that red, keeping keeping the other uh, opponents back. It's good on you. JBZ has four um, mushrooms, or he had four mushrooms. Yep. As you see, uh, Darky just dominating once again. And um, JBZ uh, looking good too in fourth place, and he has a red shell, so he could hit the guy in third um, once he has the chance to. I'm I'm noticing that again, um, players are stacking up items, and PH already has two bananas, and he's like he's ready to go for if anyone creeps up behind him, he's just gonna throw him down, I presume, and keep the lead, which is what he's been doing this whole time. He's really been setting himself aside from others and re like really proving himself to be one of the most, um, one of the best racers. For sure. Yeah, and as we see JBZ pulling a... Um... Wow, he hopped oh! off the track. Oh, but he's still going to get hit by that blue though, so that could uh, make way for the other competitors to catch up, or Darky can uh, keep his lead. Uh, which he's probably going to do based off the situation. The Wario's gaining a little bit. JBZ has a red shell, which could be really useful. Ooh, double red shells. Oh, he's going to get hit wow, here. Wow, there's another red shell. JBZ Oh, he has star. another. Oh, he almost had another red shell. Let's see if um, he possibly... Oh, he has a bomb. He's probably going to get him. Um... Somehow. It's gonna be close. Oh, Wario that bomb, right and he hit the PA. Wario, and that means JBZ gets second place off that. Wow. That helped JBZ a lot, actually, that bomb. Wow. Such a close race. <laughs> Such a close race. Yeah, that is true, though. That is true. <laughs> yeah, Dorky. Dorky, you're not trying, right? <laughs> yeah, but Dorky's really, like, solidifying himself as, like, the top racer in this room based off a perfect score after the first couple of races. Yeah, he, he really already, already just off the races we've done, off those four races, I believe it's been four. He, he's eating Cheez-Its right now. Um, yeah, Cheez-Its. He's, he's done really well um, spacing himself out from other people, utilizing items, shortcuts, and he, he's just so good. So good. For sure. Drifting. For sure. So we go into the fifth race on Super Bell Subway. Um, this is a mixed track in terms of bagging, which is going behind or running. And it looks like it's anyone's game. There's a lot of uh, room for someone to become number one still. So, I'm. I think the mainly the battle is for number uh, three, but as we see, Darky starting to bag, which means going behind to get the better items and then catch up. So, um, but JBZ is um, in 
first place, oh, was first place, um, with a red shell, so he has protection from, uh, from items. Uh, but Darky. Wow. PH has four mushrooms right now. Looks like he's saving them. Yep. And he's catching up to Encore 5. That's for sure. Oh, he gets trailed by a banana, but... And again, he still has those shrooms, so he could catch up pretty easily. Really smart shortcut he made um, right before the finish line. Mm -hmm. Drifted in with, and used a mushroom so that the turf wouldn't really affect his speed. As we see, uh, going, Darky's taking the more effective way, thus going to be passing JBZ. If you go, if you do, if you go to the right, you're actually losing time a little bit. And if you stay where Darky's staying, you're actually going to gain some time over the people that are going that way. As you see a shock happening, and the dry bones catching up pretty considerably with the peach. Ooh, the peach has two reds. Let's see what goes on here. He should. Darky, or Darky has a green right now. I'm surprised. Now. JBZ again, not using those reds. He's probably, um, probably keeping him for defense. I mean, he is being pretty effective with them. So. As JBZ again goes that way, losing him some time, that might be the deciding factor here. Because Darky has um, actually gained a lead pretty considerably. This, the mushroom though, if he pulls a mushroom, this might be close, this is gonna be close. Oh my gosh, and oh JBZ just pulls it off in the end. Wow. wow. That was an incredible finish. JBZ literally bumped him like feet away from the finish line. That was incredible. No perfect for Darky. No perfect for Darky. Wow, but what a finish though. Like, honestly. What an incredible race. No, this is not. This is uh, Mario Kart. This will be a Matt Wario pick at, from the three racers, actually. So, Matt Wario is pretty popular track among um, the racers. Oh, actually, four. Oh, my gosh. Pretty high odds. And it's probably going to be Matt. Yep, it's Matt Wario. Everyone's uniting to choose, choose a fun map. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite maps. Really crazy one. Yeah, there's a shortcut on this track, which saves you a lot of time, and I think Darky's going to take it here, which is going to probably solidify his lead if he gets it here. Good start by PH and BZ. As you see, Darky does not get an item, but uh, JBZ falls back due to getting hit by a banana and going into the snow. So, Darky's going to consider... Uh, so what if I lead pretty well, actually? And this is what I'm talking about. That drift into the trick. Wow. Another track hop. And Darky, again, that shortcut. Now we're going to have to see a lot of the carts and wheels, I noticed, have a little bit of uh, under, like, some of the ones that are fast on land aren't nearly as fast in the water. So this map actually could be um, a little bit harder for some of the people who chose more land-oriented cars. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and we just see a blue shell coming out, and Darky is still going to get hit by the blue shell because the invincibility frames uh, wore off before he got hit by the blue shell. So JBZ got a little, uh, gained a little bit of ground, but as we see, JBZ in his pocket is triple reds. So that could be extremely de deadly for uh, Darky, and that could possibly ruin his race. There's one red. And, and smart, he's very smart. He avoided that bomb and retakes first place with two red shells. Very smart by JBZ. BZ also has a mushroom in his pocket, so anytime he really needs to bring that out and get a the little The thing edge. is though, I don't know if he's not, I don't know if he's gonna be able to block that red because Darky has a red of his own and a mushroom, so. Oh, and he, oh. Oh, he does block it, but he has a red of his own and Darky will red JBZ in order to regain first place. This is a really, really close race. 
really unfortunate by JBZ getting that red shell stolen as he was trying to defend. It looks like wow. Darky is going to get first place once again with JBZ coming in second once again. Great race by PH and BZ. Pretty strong, pretty strong uh, finish and race overall for the two. And those two have basically solidified the top two spots with um, Wario coming in third and Dry Bones coming in fourth, the Ocean fifth, Bowser Jr. in sixth. So far. So, um, and that's how it ends. So, the. Darky, JBZ, and the Wario will move on while the Drybones Yoshi and Bowser Jr. will fight it off in the redemption bracket.